Hey everybody on YouTube, Hello Bella here, coming to you with a video about uh, some repricing software. I am in the middle of a free trial with uh, probably the most popular repricer on the market. This is repriceit.com, um, intelligent pricing for your Amazon FBA inventory. Um, this has been recommended to me by many people in the comment section after I did my free trial of um, Repricer Express. Um, Repricer Express was a lot more expensive than Reprice It, and as far as I've seen, they do the exact same thing. Um, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of background information about this service and um, teach you how to set it up and what I've learned so far with it. Um, so the subscription levels, you can get a basic for people who have one to 500 items in inventory for $9.95 and then right now I'm at this level, the $16.95. I believe I have around six to 700 items in active inventory right now. Um, and you know the price goes up as you have more items in inventory but um, honestly I don't think that a repricer is necessary especially after doing it twice in the past year and seeing the results um, especially if you're like me and you're selling a lot of the same types of items and I price my items pretty much to sell whenever I get them into the warehouse um, but I'm going to let you know how I set this up. Um, the most important page here is this getting started guide. Um, this is how you will figure out how to set up your account. Um, so if I click on the getting started guide, it's going to give you some instructions. So these are the steps you need to take. Six simple steps. Follow these exactly and you'll be able to set up your account. What this is doing is giving repriceit.com permission to access your Amazon account and to use their software and reprice for you. Um, and so once you set that up, nothing goes live until you start it uh, live. So we can go over here and click on um, my repricing schedules and see what I've got going on here. So I have my repricer set up four times a day, 7 a.m., 1.30 p.m., 6 p.m., and 11 p.m. Um, these are just kind of pulled out of a hat, but I figured I wanted it to be doing it pretty consistently. So um, you can see here old inventory, 1095, um, repricing settings. I believe this is where we find uh, my template. Yes, here it is. Okay, now all this information seems like a lot, but it's really not too much. Um, let's see if I can pull up repricing schedules, repricing reports. My old inventory 1095 is essentially my template. I'm trying to find item settings. No. Okay, let's go back to the dashboard. Okay, here's my template, view or edit template. We can just take a look at it and see how I've got things set up. And if you ever wanna reprice immediately, you can just click the reprice it now button. Okay, so this is my template for old inventory. 1095 is $10.95. I just put that as my lowest price that I'll go on this um, repricing setting. Um, so this is the only template that I have set up right now. I have it set up for FBA items only. That's the only kind of items that I sell. Um, here I have listed the date range from 30 days to three years old so it doesn't start repricing my inventory until it's at least 30 days old you can start this however you like if you wanted to say okay i'm only going to use this feature with old inventory like say older than 90 days old if you wanted to clear some stuff out um, i think it could be a really good tool and you know you don't have to sign up for the service just because you use their repricer you know it'd be a good way to get all your inventory quickly repriced and um, an easy way to figure out something and see if it works for you or not so that's pretty much it in terms of that and then you go to um, my repri repricing templates you can see all the ways that you know you can aggressively price it or you can you can price it a penny above the other person um, or you can price it a penny below but we'll go over here and take a look at um, view or edit repricing settings so this is really the important part that we're looking at here um, 
You can choose to compare your new items only or compare your used items only against other used. So I have checked both of those. This basically just says I'm not going to compare something that is new to something that is used. If you have a brand new toy, we don't want to compare that to a used toy or a used board game. Um, I did not check the box here where it says exclude acceptable competing offers or exclude just launched. Um, I did didn't check I did set this up for exclude competing offers with a seller rating below 80% because that's pretty low. Um, so this says minimum allowable price. So $10.95 is the lowest that um, it's going to be able to reprice any of my inventory. Um, and then maximum allowable price basically means how much they'll raise the price based on other people's. And I just put $300 as an arbitrary number. Um, but this isn't the only factor coming into play. We also have some more things at the bottom that go into whether or not the item gets repriced. Um, this information, maximum number of competing offers to compare against, I put 10. Um, Reprice new items when there are at least this many competing offers. One and one again. Um, this number is pretty important. So if the price of the item goes down more than this percent, do not reprice. So I have it set up at 10%. So for example, um, the price goes down on a book more than 10% from one of my competitors. It's not going to reprice it. It's going to let that person sell out that way that we don't all lose money. So if someone undercut me by a penny, this would reprice for me. But if it did not, um, if they undercut me by three dollars, it would not reprice, depending on the price of the item. Um, and then it says if the price of an item goes up more than this percent, do not reprice. Um, I have mine set up for intelligent pricing. Um, you could really choose any of these and just play around with it. Um, it's not going to affect it too much. Uh, let's see what else. Pricing against Amazon. Never price above Amazon.com. I checked that box, otherwise you won't be able to compete. Um, percentage amount to price below Amazon when competing directly against them. I chose 6% below Amazon. All this says is that I'm going to undercut Amazon by uh, a little margin of 6%. So, um, how much do you want to price below or above the offer you're competing against? Select only one option. So, um, I have it set up to price 3% below competing offers. Um, this is more of a uh, lower price strategy. However, you could also set up as, you know, you could set up to pr price 1% above a uh, competing offer. And that way, once their sales, yours will be next to sell. So it just depends on how you want to do things. I really wanted to move my inventory and just get it out of there before I have to wind up paying long-term storage fees or or just getting rid of books um, and because my inventory is priced or picked up so cheaply for like say 50 cents to a dollar I don't mind um, getting rid of things at a two or three dollar profit if it means I'm gonna lose money on the other side of things okay so the following settings only apply to FBA items. Compare your FBA items against only other FBA offers. I would encourage you to do it this way because if you sit there and compare your inventory to non-FBA, then you're going to be trying to compete with merchants, which I've already talked about in pretty much every video I have, how stupid that strategy is. Um, merchants are irrelevant in terms of uh, pricing for me, um, especially when it comes to books because people pay triple the price um just to get the book in two days all right so going on to the bottom the following setting applies only to your merchant fulfilled items deduct my shipping amount when competing against amazon and fba offers i think this is just trying to work in the price of shipping which shipping is free for fba so that doesn't really matter okay so don't screw this up if you check this box after you click save settings then your um, account on Amazon will change so all the prices that you've just set up will change your entire inventory so do not click this unless you're ready to change your entire inventory um, very very important and it has a warning sign here so if you don't know what you're doing you really do not need to change your entire inventory's prices um, so upload my price changes after repricing. So all this stuff is already in play. Um, 
the one thing I would caution you is just to kind of be very conservative at first. Um, I think I have a setup here where it won't drop the price of my, yeah, if the price of an item goes down more than this percent, then do not reprice. So let me give you an example. I have something listed for $120 right now. Um, I paid $50 for it. So I have to sell it for, you know, a pretty good bit to make my money back and make a profit. So I was worried about that one item. I was like, is this going to bring my one item down to $10.95 over time? But the price um, thing will not lower the price by more than 10 or if the... Um, I'm sorry, the repricer will not reprice this because my competitors are not lowering their price more than 10% either. Um, and so it's it's intelligent repricing. It's not going to drop the price of your items. Um, but what I want to go look at real quick is some of the reports of how this thing reprices. And this is, to keep in mind, this is with a 1095 uh, minimum setting. So, um, so if you go into repricing reports, all these reports are real-time examples of when my repricer or repriced. So you get a sheet of items repriced and you get a sheet of items not processed. So what we're going to go look at is the last time my inventory got repriced and then also I want to pull up the first time it got repriced. So if you look at the last time, it only repriced nine items. So here you can see the item and then you can see the condition and then you can see the new price versus the old price. So some prices go up, some prices go down. Um, but you can see here, none of them are over really a dollar. So um, price has gone from $14.20 to $14.27. Um, this one went down 46 cents, 51 cents, 49, 71, 48. Um, in my opinion, guys, it's just not even necessary to fool with this. Like, unless you're really, really trying to be competitive, it just seems like an unnecessary service. I mean, I manually reprice things pretty often that I need to, um, but in terms of paying monthly for this, I don't think it's worth it unless you have like two or three thousand items. And after you have that many items, it sort of gets complicated because you can really screw up and mess up your inventory if you set the wrong rule for a repricer. Um, so like right now on this Auburn grill mat, it keeps it's lowering the price every day until it sells. So um, I may need to change that up and figure something out with that because I paid five dollars for those and I have two in stock. Um, now we're going to look at, let's see, so the first time that it ever repriced my inventory, that's what I want to look at. So let's see, no, that's not it. It was a really, really long one. I think it repriced 181 items the first time that it ever Repriced my inventory. Items repriced. I may not be able to find it. Um, we'll see. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to find it, but um, just to tell you, it did reprice um, 181 items for me when I first ran the um, service. Yeah, you can see it just keeps gradually dropping the price of this grill mat. So that's another flaw that is to work into that software. That I mean, it's not really a flaw because I set up 1095, but um, just one of those things, those outliers. So I guess my overall review for this service is that, yeah, it works. It does what it says it's supposed to do. Um, is it necessary? Uh, I really don't think so. I think that it's one of those things, if you prefer to use a repricer, you should use a repricer. But I got so many comments of people saying, why don't you use a repricer? Like, that's so, you're wasting your time. Like, no, not really. Like, I just prefer it. And I've heard different things from different Amazon sellers. I've heard from sellers who are doing really well on Amazon that they've never even touched a repricer. So, um, in the end, I really don't think it's necessary. But if you want to try out repriceit.com, you can get a free 30-day trial of their services. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Uh, good luck with your Amazon FBA sales and take care. Until next time.